We embark on a trip of a lifetime. So this is a huge deal to me, this trip. And somewhere I've only ever dreamed of visiting, Japan. But first, we have to navigate the longest flight I have ever been on with Japan Airlines. We are about four hours into the flight. Yeah, actually my first experience of a Japanese B-Day. Before touching down in Tokyo and battling the subway crowds for the first time. Oh, so busy. We're at platform three, but this isn't the JR line. Today, we will be getting our first glimpse of Tokyo. Dude, what did you get? It's the Kalkis one. In the start of this epic Japan series. Let's go, shall we? so excited because today is a travel day but it's not like usual travel days this is a travel day to japan i am so excited we're here at a premier inn in terminal 4 at heathrow airport i've actually never flew from heathrow airport before so and it is massive it even has its like own underground system to get to this premier inn we actually had to get like the elizabeth line um which is like a free shuttle to get to this terminal. So we are packing up, we're getting ready, and we're gonna head to the airport and then I'm gonna fill you in on all the travel plans. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. So let's pack our bags and head to the airport, find a spot for some coffee, and I'll fill you in on all our travel plans. Oh, it's cold this morning, but we've been checking the temperature in Tokyo and it is very hot. It's actually the beginning of June and it's the start of rainy season and also the start of summer in Japan. And it's like 28 degrees and very humid, so looking forward to the warmth. Japan Air today. There we go, Japan Airlines. So let's go check our bags in. We need to go to the desk B. Here we go, Japan Airlines self checking kiosk available. Yeah, Japan Airlines. I've just had to open my suitcase because I, I put two camera batteries in there, two small camera batteries as like a backup. Um, it says no lithium batteries in my case, so I thought I'd better get them out just in case. Um, because I don't want to do this Alright, I think I tear this bit off, do I? I always worry that I haven't done it right when I do these. Bye bye. I think we're gonna have a coffee at EL and N. How do you say this? Is that how you say it? Whoa, the aesthetic looks so pretty in here. What the heck? Oh wow, look at all these croissants. Oh my god, I love it in here. Look at this tote bag. Adventure Wiz with the pink handle. So cute. And this for iced coffee. Oh my gosh, I love it. Little flask stickers. I was wondering what they were. I thought they were coffee, but it's actually like a drinks canister. I might get a kick in Caesar salad. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional, but the menu looks incredible in here. I can't believe how pretty it is. It's so nice. It's got all sorts of really nice looking breakfast items, Instagrammable cocktails, it says. 
but look at this, chicken and lotus pancakes. They've also got lotus French toast. Anyway, while we're waiting for our food to arrive, I thought I would give you a rundown of our travel plans. So this is a huge deal to me, this trip, and anyone who knows me personally knows how much this is actually gonna mean to me, because I have wanted to come to Japan for the longest time. I have a picture good spot, the music is like blaring. Anyway, for those of you new to my channel, um, I actually run a small illustration business called Catnip Studios and my style is very heavily influenced off my love for kawaii slash Japanese pop culture. So growing up as a child, I consumed a lot of anime, manga, watched a lot of Japanese dramas and obviously I was a big gamer as well so I loved gaming. That combined with other things like Disney, Sanrio, just all sorts of things combined created my style, what you see. So my actual career is based off kind of that kawaii pop culture style. I actually was meant to go to Japan to teach English as a foreign language. I actually started the application and looking at the application of what was called a TEFL. Uh, but I fell in love and met my husband Dean and obviously my plans changed. Obviously for the better otherwise I wouldn't have catnip and have done what I'm doing right now. But it has always just been a dream of mine to go to Japan and this is the first time I'm ever going to get the opportunity to go. This is a big trip so we are going for three weeks and three days and um, so it's a very long trip, the longest I've ever done before. I think the longest trip I've ever done is two weeks and that's when we go to Orlando. We are going to be going to Tokyo Disney, Tokyo Disney Sea. We're going to be spending the first five days exploring Tokyo, moving over to Tokyo Disney then we're going to get the Shinkansen into the Japanese Alps as we explore Nagano, Takayama then we're going to get another Shinkansen to Kyoto, Osaka and then back up for another three to four nights in Tokyo. I'm just so excited I can't actually believe this is happening. Our drinks have arrived I ended up just getting a skimmed iced latte <laughs> my typical one they have like in Instagrammable lattes but I just wanted a typical iced latte and Dean got a glass of milk Oh, that is good coffee actually. Our flight is a direct to Tokyo flight and this is going to be the longest flight that I've ever been on. This is a 13 hour 50 minutes, so 14 hour flight direct there and 15 hour direct flight back. We set off at 9.40 a.m. on a Tuesday and we don't arrive because of the time zone difference. It's eight hours from the UK. We arrive 7.30 a.m. on Wednesday. So we do lose a whole day. It's not like going across the Atlantic where we gain five hours, we're actually losing time. So it's gonna be quite difficult because we're gonna try and stay awake to try and fight the jet lag. And we are staying in Shinjuku for the first four nights. I'm actually going to see if we can download what's called a sweeper pass for the subway. If not, I'll buy that when we land at Haneda Airport. That's where we're landing and yeah really really excited also you can download an app that gives you an e-sim or in the airport i've heard you can buy a mobile data pack thing so it's like a pocket mobile it's called it's basically like a power bank but it emits wi-fi so i can't decide what to do whether i'm going to do the e-sim or whether i'm going to do the pocket wi-fi anyway the food should be here very soon and then we're going to japan so how exciting. Our breakfast has just come out and we're sharing a full English. It's absolutely massive. We ordered extra halloumi because we thought it might be a bit small to get our protein in, but we didn't need to do that. So we're gonna share this breakfast. We've got some avocado, halloumi, just a little bit less sugary. And look how nice everything looks. This is totally my aesthetic. I can't believe it. I've never been to one of these before. I do know that opened one in Manchester though, but look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, I didn't get a picky. They've definitely went for like the Instagrammable vibe here. It does make you want to take lots of pictures, I'm not gonna lie. That avocado is really fresh, you know. Carrots. Oh, look at that cute umbrella. That's so cute. Oh, the lights are going trippy. Time to boss. 
my friend was actually saying that this airport is that huge that she was sat in like the main bit where you eat and drink and she waited till it said boarding and she didn't realise it was a 20 to 25 minute walk to a gate so it was like the final boarding call by the time she set off so if it says go to gate just double check where your gate is because it is a very big airport and you don't want to nearly miss your flight anyway you can also get one of these cars if you run in there, look at that. It's like zooming around on a little car, that's so cute. I think we're boarding, there's no queue. Oh, right, here we go. we're boarding now. I can't believe it. This is us, number 48. And they're in rows of two, four and two. You get a soft squishy pillow and this actually feels like a really good pillow. It's like really dense. Sometimes pillows can be really like rubbish quality. Then you get a fleecy blanket. There's actually quite a lot of leg space here as well. This is not too bad. I feel like you've got like a lot more room um, in this area. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I definitely feel like it's more spacious and not as like cramped in, which is obviously good for a long flight. I'm hoping that these rows are free because that would be epic. I need to somehow turn this into English. Ah, we've got some Japanese dramas. They must have multiple ones, probably with dubbed over as well as uh, English ones. expecting it to be on the plane. Anyway, like I say, I am going to try and get some sleep so that we can try and overcome the jet lag and stay awake when we land all day and night. Um, even if I just lie down and just rest as much as possible, that'll be better than nothing. Rolls actually free, like a four seat free. There's like loads of them for free. I'm like a little nervous to move 
all the like blankets and pillows and stuff because I don't want to like cause more work for them. So I might just try and sleep on my two seater but I'll catch up with you in a little bit and I'll let you know how it goes. I might end up watching another film. But we've also had really nice views over the Greenland and everything which has been so beautiful. We must have passed the Arctic Circle and I've seen all the like bits of ice which look really really cool. I'll probably put it in. Um, and then wish me luck and let's see if we can get some sleep on this flight. Okay, we need to find a sim or a mobile public Wi Fi. Alright, there's a sim place here. I don't know if I can just book one, so I'm gonna try it. This is what we're, I think, gonna get the Wi Fi router. Damn it, the router's stock of the pocket Wi Fi. So if worse comes to worse, we'll just get an e sim and get it on our phone. But I did want a pocket Wi Fi. We're gonna try the other places that said pocket Wi Fi, but I have a feeling you have to book it. So just a word of warning, don't do what we did. Alright, so we have to order it online, uh, but we can actually order it online now and pick it up. So this is what it looks like it looks like a power bank and it actually doubles up as a power bank as well you can plug your phone into it and yeah oh, why is it oily it like popped out of the slot so you just scan your qr code so that's really handy it's just from wi-fi box and this costs 126 pound for 23 days so that gives me unlimited wi-fi all right getting the suica or passmo cards was much easier than we thought we were just looking up shinjuku grand bell tokyo um our hotel Hotel. and basically when we typed in public transport on the iPhone it gave us an option to add a prepaid card like Passmo or Suica which is a prepaid card for Tokyo and it just added it to our Apple wallet so we topped it up on our phone and we didn't have to do anything and it automatically added it so that's great we haven't even had to move from the seat so now we're just going to tap and go I think we need to get two trains it looks like it's going to take around an hour so let's go shall we
and Dean has just spotted his first vending machine so we can leave the pass more cards on the vending machine. Ah, oh, wow, it's cool here. So you can use your pass more cards on it. They do hot and cold drinks. So, so this is a latte, iced latte. 170 yen. That's not too bad. Oh, Costa, what? Costa coffee? Flat white, iced. Ooh, Dean, these look good. Iced lattes. Matcha, cafe latte. It's too much to decide. And then Dean, first vending machine in Japan. What did you get? It's like a milky water. I'm not sure do no, you see? Water, but it's cloudy. It's the Calpis one. <laughs> <They're> nice. <laughs> I've just tried the water and I can confirm it's really delicious actually. It's like a lot flat spray. Yeah, it's really nice. It's well balanced. This is also a 10 out of 10. Very nice. Cheers! First vending machine drink in Japan. I love the look of these trains. I think they look so pretty. And also, I just love all the like kawaii illustrations everywhere. Oh, so busy. We just realised we weren't in the right uh, platform. We were at platform three, but this isn't the JR line. So we need to transfer to the JR line. Ah, Yamanote line. hotel room we were actually sat in the lobby for about an hour because uh, we thought we had to wait till half three to check in and it was like 11 o'clock uh, by the time we sat down so we were like oh. and then I thought let's just try it at 12 because Dean said he's seen someone check in and we could check in so we're here and we weren't thinking we were gonna be in this early so that is really good we are very 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 tired it is a bit of a shame that you lose a day because we set off on tuesday morning it's currently wednesday like dinner time so you do lose a day because of the eight hours difference i do think we are going to have a little bit of a nap you shouldn't really to get over jet lag but just a two hour refresher nap and then go back out at like 2 p.m 3 p.m that's the goal anyway and then we can go shopping around all the shops it looks so fun so far but let me show you the room you don't get much space in Tokyo in terms of like room sizes but this was a fairly budget price I still think it looks really really nice so you've got like this seating area with a sofa which I've never seen before like have you ever seen like the use of a sofa space like that we could either put our bags there or I don't know I think this is really cool I think it's a cool use of space rather than having the bed in the center then we've got a double bed there but as you can see this is the floor space this is all you've got so there's no like storage for luggage so we'll probably just keep the luggage like in the hallway and then we've got the bathroom really deep Japanese bath and there's look Japanese toilet. I'm not gonna press that because it might like squirt out everywhere but we were originally um actually booked for something called the Apple Hotel but then I did like the look of these rooms a little bit better and um yeah I like the look of the sofas we just got a standard economy double room a cute base for four days to explore Tokyo so we've got four days but it's really sad because today is one of those days but we are coming back and we're staying in Shibuya at the second half of the trip so we don't have to worry about trying to like rush around and do everything we are in japan for over three weeks and the reason i booked over three weeks was to account for the loss of days we are near all the love hotels and i think we're in like the red light district area of shinjuku kabukicho kabukicho anyway let's have a nap and then go out in shinjuku tonight well that was a little bit of a fail i knew it was a risk trying to go to sleep we've ended up sleeping for like four hours it's currently 5 p.m we were meant to get up at like two i feel a little fresher now so we're gonna just head off into shinjuku let's go back out into shinjuku shall we if anyone wants to know what love hotels look like from the outside here is a few love hotels they have the prices here so you can rest or stay 
you know, to cuddle. I love like all the little cars like this as well. They all look like little box cubes. <laughs> They're so cute. walk across it and see what it's all about. Also I bought a brand new lens especially for Japan which I'm currently vlogging on but I'm just so excited because I can like really zoom in and not be like annoying. The lens that I used before was a wide angle one and I had to like add loads of settings to get the cropping. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm really happy with coming summer. I know it's the rainy season but um, all the leaves are all like green and fresh and vibrant so this is really nice. getting another vending machine drink um i really liked is that it or is that just water that one we had before i really like that so i think this area is called golden guy and it's got a lot of bars and uh, alleyways that you go down and you can drink in but yeah so you just go drink inside them they're really small the alleys are tiny and it's just all like literally they're all tiny little bars that you can go down and look at them all. So, Dean was saying there's actually like rickety ladders to some of these and these are bars as well. Look at this. Also I noticed the drains here in Japan all are Sakura themed. Very cute. Anyway, this is where you come for a good time I think. And you come do a bar crawl. This is crazy, look at this. It's all like themed and stuff, each one. All little tiny, tiny bars. Literally, some of them you can only fit like two people in. But look at all the like different patterns and decor. So cool, what the heck? Oh, yeah, Toto Bar. So this tiny little staircase will take you upstairs and you'll go up there and you'll have a drink. It's still quite early on, so obviously, this isn't super busy, but <laughs> it's super cool. <laughs> as well so we're just gonna have a look up these steps and see what's here here is a shrine and golden guys just behind there with all the pubs there's a shrine up here what the heck is so first shrine spotting and first walk under a tori gate Tunes or I think wishes maybe or fortunes and you tie them to the shrine you can buy these yeah happiness for health for the family friends and soul around the world over here looks like all the fortunes that were drawn that were bad fortunes that you can then tie up to get rid of the bad luck We weren't even like trying to find it. Holy smokes. So beautiful. Of all like the bits around the shrine as well. There's also a really nice walkway with lanterns. Dean's just leaving now. I'm gonna go shopping. A very stark contrast to Shinjuku. Just like that, we're back onto the street. So this is the entrance to the shrine. And as we turn around, there's a building with a giant crab on it. We're heading in 
to the shopping mall called Satan. I think it's called that, or maybe that was a restaurant, I don't know. Oh, there's a queue outside Hermes. It's absolutely huge here. It's got like eight floors. Okay, we're lost. We're trying to find the Sanrio section. We're walking down the alley and we're going to go to the Disney store. Oh, it's a flagship. Oh, cool. Flagship Disney store in Tokyo. Oh, wow. Okay, let's have a look, see what cute merch we've got. Even though we'll go to Disney Sea and Disneyland. Oh my gosh, little snack tongs so you don't have to get your hands dirty, Dean. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing ever. This is a big deal in Japan and it's exclusive to Japan. It's the Duffy Bear series, so these are all different ones. You can buy outfits for them. You can buy a little rocking chair and you take a picture of your Duffy Bear in its outfit. I can see the appeal though, because look how cute. See, oh my little space suit. What the heck, that's so cute. They've got the munchlings as well. I've got this very one that I got from Orlando on my sofa. A little small spare bag. Oh, so cute. Oh, everything's so cute. I can't wait to do some shopping. Look at this one. I love the colours of her. She's like brown. She's got like brown fur. I love this. Oh, I'm going to have to get something. This is so cute. Honestly, everything is so cute. <laughs> I can't believe it. Hello, Pooh. Look how chunky this Pooh is. Oh, I need to get something like this. Flagship Tokyo. <gasps> Don't you think that's the cutest thing you've ever seen? I know. Exclusive. Oh my god, look at over there. Look at him on the shelves. Look at this little guy over here. Looks like he's tapping his friend, like trying to make his friend happy. Doesn't he? He's like, oh, it'll be alright, Pooh. And the other one's like, but I've got no honey. He's in a little Japanese outfit look. This is dangerous, this. we haven't even been to hardly any stores and I've picked these two guys up and I can't let them go. This, this is so cute, it makes me cry every time I look at it. And also first anniversary flagship Tokyo bag, so they must have only been open here. You would think that they would have had like a Disney store ages ago. But look at this They have like Mickey's restaurant kettles and then look at this. This is the first pin set that I've seen that I absolutely love. All the pastel colours. And it's this Shibuya Kondori, Kyoendori uh, pin set. Look how nice that is. This, how are we going to get all this home? And it comes in this little box. I don't think I'm going to get it, but it just looks amazing. They also have keys. And they have little um, pushes. Oh, look. Beautiful sum sum set. I love it. This is getting me really excited for Disney Sea and Disney Talk. Um, Disneyland now. Oh, I love these. Look at these little tiny tote bags. Just outside the Disney store, which is right here, is this really nice terrace, and you can hear like violin playing. Look how nice this looks with all the lights. They do like pizza and salad, but we fancy something more traditional, I think. I think this is where the Sanrio store is, so we're just gonna have a look in this little shopping centre. Here it is, the Sanrio star, and apparently, if we just turn here, there's a giant Hello Kitty mosaic right outside the front. Order first? English. Okay, let's order something. So we paid by card and we got these tickets. 
and then our number goes on the screen over there and we pick it up. We've got some pickles in here and we've got some dressing. I don't know what dressing that is, it looks milky. This looks like some sort of satay. Ooh, is that mine? <gasps> nice. I've got a soft boiled egg and a beef bowl cheese. Oh my god, it's massive. And a salad. And then it also comes with a miso soup. So, look at this. Holy smokes. The Dean's has come. This dressing is so good. I think it's like a satay one. I added it to my salad. And this is so cheesy and tasty. It's basically pork. I got the kimchi on top with cheese uh, and rice. So it's like a rice um, pork bowl. And then I also got an egg to add on top of it. Oh, so good. So yummy. Oh, aishi. And this is Dean's. I've nearly at the salad already with that sauce. But this is so good, look at this. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. Wait, I'm holding the chopsticks right That's so nice, what the heck? We've got a whole lot of cheese, you can get extra cheese as well. All right, that was a super delicious meal and it was super cheap as well. I think it worked out like seven or eight quid for both of us for all the food. Anyway, we are flagging now, so we're probably gonna try and get an early night and um, get some good rest. You'll be seeing a lot of these around, I think. Sell the convenience food. Ah, oh, yeah. These are really nice, I've had these before. Um, I think I had them at a comic convention, but it's basically seaweed with rice and it's normally got a filling in it. And look at all these foods down here. You can get some really decent food. Look at that, yum, curry. Our hotel has a microwave too, so you can even grab like a nice fresh salad. And it's an affordable way to eat. Oh, they do little breakfast sandwiches. And of course we've got lots of ramen. Oh, Dean, look at this pudding. It's like a souffle. And they've also got all the meats and cheeses. Look how good the meals look. The microwave meals look incredible. Oh yeah, strawberry flavored Starbucks. Caramel latte. I think I'm gonna get one of these for the morning. They also have uh, tapioca milk tea, so me and Dean are gonna get this. This is my coffee of choice for the morning. Ground meat cutlet. I feel like this is a hot dog look. I feel like these should be in the fridge, but they're not. They're just like packets of hot dogs on the thing. Melon pan. Squishy. Things are going the right way. I've just realized we're walking down here. Well, this is Kabu Kicho Sakuradari Street. Oh, you're looking at I'm looking at the sign, yeah. So we're back in the hotel room now. I've just had my first experience of using a Japanese V-Day and it was delightful. And I've just realized that the toilet seat was in fact heated. I can't actually believe it, the toilet seat is heated. It actually even has a setting next to the toilet so you can change, adjust the temperature just for the right temperature for your own bottom. We have had an amazing day, but I thought I'll give you a little haul of our family mat stuff because I find this stuff really interesting to see the different types of food and packaging in different countries. So we have two milks, this is for Dean. Uh, we got this butter biscuit cheese, Dean got this to try. We got two pieces of chicken, grilled chicken, spicy yuzu flavoured and they're just basically um, chicken pieces, like cooked chicken pieces. Uh, two of them for some protein. What's this Dean? Grape juice? Yeah. Some grape juice. We got some tapioca milk tea which we're actually going to have now for our dessert. I got a Kirin coffee ole, cafe ole for the morning and Dean has just cracked open this beer which is, is it beer? Oh yeah 7% melon punch. It smells really strong I can smell it from here. So melon punch beer. Then I got the melon bread or melon pan and then I also got the souffle pudding but I've just realised I haven't got a spoon and then from disney we got this bag i fell in love with this stitch <gasps> oh 
oh, I've got this Stitch Teddy. Like, why is that so cute? Uh, I've actually got Bumble Butt with me as well because I was going to get pictures in Japan. I also use Bumble Butt, which is uh, my character that I made into a plush. And when I was looking at the Disney plushes, I thought how cute Bumble Butt would be for uh, Generation 2 of the plushes to be in this soft, fuzzy plush fabric scene as though he's a bee. We also got the Pooh Bear. This reminds me of Dean. But this uh, was the flagship Tokyo and Disney Star exclusive plush. You cannot get this anywhere else other than the flagship Tokyo store. And then I got Emily some gifts. That's my sister. Got her this little tiny sleeping stitch. And then I also got her this bag, which is like a massive shopping bag uh, that folds right down and it's got stitch, but it actually has him cooking like as a scene. I don't really want to unpack it though, but it's like a big stitch scene. Anyway, we are pretty tired and tomorrow we're going to head to the anime district of Tokyo. We're going to be going to Akihabara, which I'm really excited about. And then we're going to be doing Shinjuku again on the night. This is the start of the brand new Japanese vlog series. I can't wait to bring you guys along because it has already been amazing i can't believe it even though i'm really really tired i've literally got a headache my eyeballs are so dry and that long flight like sucked out all the moisture out of my soul all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye